Marshall sent you, huh? Third one this week. Let's hope you got something they didn't. There's an underground stream down in these old sewers. We hooked it up to a turbine generator. Makes us completely independent. As in, we got our own power supply. Oh, the insanity of rage too, you guys. Yeah. And how's that working out for you? All right, so yeah, this is Rage 2, guys. Um, you know, this this video started as a first impression video, uh, and I've I've since then I'm I'm re-recording all that commentary because I finished the game. It's taking me so long to I actually make this video. It's become more of an opinion video. And here's the thing, right? Rage, is, Rage 2 is not that exciting. Uh, the game wants to wants to tell you, you know, uh, their their catchphrase uh, at the beginning is "Welcome to the insanity." Uh, it is not insane, as you can see here. This is several minutes into this mission, and the music is nice and suspenseful. Uh, and the music in general is really good. Uh, and the gunplay is really good in this game. That's definitely an ID plus in invented shooters, after all. But as you can see, there's just nothing happening. And this goes on. This goes on and on. And then when the action does come, oh man, it's great. The action is great, but it takes a while to get there. Um, and this, the arcs, you know, the arcs are really important. This is in the written review uh, that I have on the website. I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description. Uh, the 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 arcs are okay. They give you they give you abilities. Uh, some of them have weapons. I believe this one has a shotgun in it, which is great. Uh, but everything comes with this this super super boring tutorial, uh, and you're gonna see just how boring that tutorial is right about now. I think, or very shortly here, as I go through. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm just going to let this play. That was the tutorial for how to use a shotgun. Um, yeah, how are you? <laughs> are you still awake? Like all of, all of the all of the tutorials are like that. Use it twice, then use it in a special way. Now you're done. You know how to use it now. And the shotgun is the last weapon I found in the game, by the way. Uh, no, that's not true. That's not true either. I did find a rocket launcher at some point. And here's some action. Uh, it's good times. It's fun, actually. The game, gunplay is pretty good, but let's move on. Let's move on from this. Um, perhaps let's go to some open world stuff. Perhaps I don't know. Let's see. let's see what happens. All right. So yeah, this is um, this is open world. A little vehicle driving. Uh, this is the Phoenix vehicle, and uh, it comes with comes with mini guns. You can upgrade it to have some missiles and like uh, like a twenty millimeter cannon, and I believe it even comes with some mortars and some. Uh, cruise missiles and that kind of stuff, but this is about as much fun as you get to have with it. Even the convoys, convoys are they're cool enough, I guess, but uh, they're they're pretty broken feeling. They don't seem to work very well. Uh, this is we're not going to find a convoy here. In fact, we're going straight to a bandit den, uh, which we'll show you a little more 
uh, gunplay and action and that sort of thing. But this is just driving around. Uh, that sentry back there, those are all fight the same. So uh, they tend to be very difficult to fight. Standing here. Uh, not really. Actually, that's not really true. The fights really aren't that difficult. It's the fact that they hit really hard. Um, yeah, anyway. There's the bandit den. You can see it up there. And, um, yeah, we're just going to go up and, and attack it. Uh, this is only level 2 enemies, but you get, you're going to get the idea. Weapon sounds are pretty good. Well, the, game, the game looks pretty good. All in all, it's, it's all right. And I don't, I don't necessarily mean this video to be like a, a, a lot of negative talk about the game. It's just not very good. It's, it's not terrible. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna do bandit den. And all you gotta do to complete a bandit den is kill all the bandits. There are some extra objectives here. You can tell the music is pumped up. Music is really good. I like it. Particle effects are great. I'm not sure if this particular recording came before I had the shotgun or not. I don't know if I'll use it or not in this. But this is how it works. Just go through, and there are abilities to use, but they're not real easy to use. And they're not real easy to use because of the fact that uh, you have to hold buttons down. Well, you have to hold control down. I'm not playing this with a key or with a controller, rather. I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse. It's a shooter. I'm never going to play a shooter with a controller. Uh, but the idea is you have to hold control down uh, and press another key, and that will act as your uh, that will that will activate an ability. The problem is holding down control will also activate focus. And you saw just a moment ago where the character brought his hand up. Uh, that's to like track enemies. It also sucks uh, feltrite crystals out of the walls. Feltrite is used as currency. It also will heal you. Uh, so. Oftentimes, trying to use your abilities will, will ultimately end up in your death. Uh, that was a successful ability. Uh, that was a slam or shatter. That's what that was, shatter. Where I hit the guy and threw across like the Jedi force push there. Yeah. And that was it. The place is done. That's all there was to it. And those are fun, but they don't really come all that often. But racing in terms of vehicles is really fun. This is a, an early race. So far I've only found the one track and I finished the game, so I know there must be another one someplace and I just haven't ran into it. The map is pretty large. Uh, I'll give it that for sure. Um, as you're going to see here in a minute though, uh, combat, vehicle combat works the same in racing as it does outside of racing and it oftentimes makes you lose control of your car. You see how I hit that guy, but it didn't do me any good. Uh, I blew him up, he's out of the race, but I hit that wall and it stopped me dead for a moment, and I lost my place. But, the racing itself is a lot of fun, it's really cool to control the cars and fly through the air against uh, the computer itself, it's actually a pretty good uh, challenger in terms of the races, so once you do it a couple times you're probably just going to win a lot, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And the music is great in the races, the music is so fun. So I tried to hit them and uh, screwed myself up. Anyway, that's how it works. Racing is racing is really cool, uh, and I really haven't got tired of it. I've raced and raced and raced, but uh, ultimately I think I will because it's just this track so far. And I think um, I think on the map I can see where another track might be, but it's just like a big figure eight. Uh, anyway, uh, let's move on to a, let's move on to a boss fight so you guys can see that. Alright, so this is a boss fight. This is a, a cyber crusher, and you'll see a few of these in the game. Um, the crushers are big giant mutants, and uh, they're challenging. 
I actually think the Cyber Crusher is a little bit easier because there's a there's an actual pattern to memorize. And, uh, you shoot them in this, this blurry spot on their chest until they're weak. And then you shoot the... Um, well, you're going to see in a moment. These, like, power cells. Yeah, these things that come out of the back. Blast those away. And then it starts over. Uh, meanwhile, you just have to dodge their attacks. Uh, and dash is great when it works. Again, this is this is that ability problem. Uh, that actually bones me a lot in this game. You try to dash and you don't dash. Instead, you just start to focus and track enemies or something. And you just get stepped on and die. Uh, but as you can see, the pattern is fairly simple, but it feels good. It actually it actually feels pretty good to fight him. Um, the problem is that you can't you can't like increase the steps, right? You can make it go a little faster, but you can't like you can't blow those those power cells up on the first try uh, at any point in the game. No matter how much damage you do, it will go to a certain point and then he'll start combat again. Uh, so you, you always have to go through this uh, three times, or at least that's my experience. In it. Should take one down, yeah. And again, the music is great. The music is really, really good in this. And ID does know how to make a shooter, obviously. Uh, the the shootery stuff feels really good. There's also crafting, I guess. Uh, it's allowed, but I never did it. You can apparently build grenades and, and so on and so forth, but I, I've never done it. Uh, and I finished the game two days ago, maybe, I want to say. Let's see, he's almost down. There's one dash, didn't work. Luckily, you get the health infusion. And then there goes blasted. And uh, overdrive, which actually is a great. It's like a berserk sort of thing. It actually just changes the characteristics of your weapons, but also you gain your health. You do a ton more damage. And the boss fights are pretty fun. This is this is pretty much it, though. They don't really they don't really change a whole lot. There's that aspect of shoot the weak spot and that's about it right it's it's kind of arcade feeling but that's okay all right so you know rage 2 overall in my opinion after playing it and as i said this was supposed to be a first impression video but it just didn't work out that way um after playing it all the way through i can't really say it's all that exciting i'm going to tell you it's not worth the the uh full 60 dollar price tag uh as of now at least it doesn't it isn't particularly bad but it's not very good um, you know, I just, I can't really have great, great feelings for it, I guess, I don't know. There's plenty of exploration to be had, but it doesn't really reward you with anything. Uh, boss fights are pretty cool, but they're all pretty standard. Um, I don't know. It's just not all that exciting. It's fun, but it's definitely not the, like, welcome to insanity that it, uh, wants you to believe it is. And, uh, with that, guys, I'm just gonna let you let you go. Um, probably just gonna, probably just gonna be done with this one now. Um, you know, I don't know. Take, don't take just my word for it. I'm, I'm not perfect at this kind of stuff, anyway. It's just, you know, uh, check everyone else's reviews out and stuff first. And again, if you're interested, check out the link in the below, uh, in the description below. And um, yeah, read, read my written review if that helps at all. Um, yeah. Alright guys, I've been Screwloose from 26.com. As always, have a great one.